This is Hollywood. Matthias Bombal with you. Sony Pictures Classics releases a fascinating movie set in Germany in 1958, Labyrinth of Lies, or its original title in German, Im Labyrinth des Schweigens. Thirteen years after the Second World War, Germany was on the upswing of recovery. For most German citizens, things were starting to really look very promising for a new future. That is until, according to this movie, based on real events, a journalist, Thomas Genilka, played by actor Andrei Tsemansky, recognizes that a schoolteacher was in fact a former commander of the Auschwitz concentration camp. Ginilka's observation falls on deaf ears when brought before the public prosecutor's office. One punctilious young prosecutor, Johann Radman, played by Alexander Failing, who you may remember as the German soldier in the cellar scene of 2009's Inglorious Bastards, sees this case as a possible way to advance himself from the low-level entry work of traffic citations that he's been handling. He follows up with the passionate Ginilka, surprised and shocked by what he learns. He decides to take it on, only encountering brick walls everywhere he goes, from his superiors and others, including the head of his department, a sympathetic General Staatsanwalt, Fritz Bauer. In dem Artikel stehen Interne. Haben Sie die weitergegeben? Nein. Ich verstehe nicht, warum das Kultusministerium nichts unternommen hat. Seien Sie doch nicht so naiv. Glauben Sie, dass nach dem Tod von Hitler sich alle Nazis in Luft aufgelöst haben? Ich kann Ihnen versichern, das haben Sie nicht getan. Das haben Sie nicht getan. Aber dass so ein Mann Kinder unterrichtet, das darf einfach nicht sein. Herr Kollege, was wir tun müssten, wäre, diesen Mann vor ein Gericht zu stellen. Aber in diesem Lager Dienst gemacht zu haben, ist vor unserem Gesetz kein Verbrechen. Beschämenderweise. Und alle Straftaten wären seit drei Jahren verjährt. Außer Mord. Aber haben wir einen? Haben wir eine konkrete Tat? Ein konkretes Opfer? Machen Sie die Augen auf, Herr Rundmann. Der Staatsdienst ist voll von Nazis, von Großen und von Kleinen. Und die haben alle nichts mehr zu befürchten. That was actor Gert Voss as Bauer. His performance in this film is outstanding, as the experienced attorney guiding the way for young Radman to reach his goal, yet doing it through the proper channels for maximum effect. This movie shows us the incapacity for the German public at large, at that time still suffering from the tremendous psychological shock of war destruction, to believe the atrocities that were committed by the Nazis only 13 years earlier. The German public in that era could not wrap their brain around that horror. They refused to believe it. Many had no first-hand knowledge of these events, and the movie shows us that most thought that Auschwitz was some sort of a Polish summer camp. Once Radman begins hearing testimony from many who are reticent to tell their stories, he is shocked. Herr Beschinski, Sie waren zwei Jahre im Lager Auschwitz interniert. Ja, war ich. Und August 1943 bis uns befreiten die Russen, Januar 1945. Machen Sie einfach weiter. Sagen Ihnen die Namen auf dieser Liste etwas? Nein, nichts. Kein einziger, sind Sie sicher? Sicher. Wir haben Grund anzunehmen, dass im Lager Verbrechen begangen wurden. Können Sie das bezeugen? Ja, kann ich. Da wurden umgebracht Hunderttausende. Ja, wir brauchen, wenn möglich, die Namen der Opfer. Haben Sie nicht gehört? 
Hunderttausende. Das war eine Fabrik. Wie soll er da die Namen wissen? Gut. Dann schreiben wir erstmal Opfer unbekannt. He begins to build his case and becomes determined to ferret out all Nazis still living in the country, as well as discovering the names of the as then unknown victims. It would not be an easy task, as the United States kept all records confiscated from the Germans during the war. Here, Ratman tries, after numerous attempts, to break down the resistance of Major Parker at the U.S. Embassy, played by actor Tim Williams, to have access to the documents he would need to prosecute the yet-to-be-tried war criminals and murderers. Ich brauche die Akten der SS-Männer, die in Auschwitz gedient haben. Alle. Zehn Millionen Nazis. Unglaublich, was? Und diese Idioten haben alles aufgeschrieben. Wenn du glaubst, du kriegst auch nur eine vor Gericht, dann kannst du auch glauben an die Weihnachtsmann. Mich interessiert nur, wer in Auschwitz gedient hat. Wo ist deine Lastwagen? Hier, 600.000 SS-Akten. In Auschwitz waren wie viel? 8000. Aber die musst du dir fischen selber raus. Where to begin? Radman remains undaunted in his task, driven by his own father's hatred of the Nazis and the pursuit of any lead that will bring justice and closure to a nation that cannot grapple with what had happened whilst they were looking the other way. Along the road, he'll find challenges he did not expect and a truth close to home that will shatter his own beliefs. This picture's outstanding from the fantastic widescreen aspect ratio of CinemaScope, so perfect for depicting the post-war boom in cinema technology, to the settings with that modern post-war European look of the late 50s through 1963. This movie is Germany's submission to the 2016 Academy Awards and is in German with subtitles in English. To date, it's my favorite foreign film this year, primarily for the two great performances of Gert Voss and Alexander Fehling. Don't miss it. The Motion Picture Association of America has given this an R rating. This is your pal, Matthias Bombal, bidding you a fond farewell.